Hi there, I'm Glenn from Pop Committed. Um, I'm here to show you all about two different types of chips. One is the Lucky Bee Next Gen chip, and this is the other Next Gen chip, which has the um, the Vegas written around the outside. Now, this Vegas chip is a lot softer. Um, it feels more kind of rubberized, but with an exclusive feel or a nice kind of soft feel. Um, when you're placing a bet, um, I haven't got a felt here, but when you're placing a bet, it sticks together fairly nicely, as you can see. However, I bought the next-gen Lucky Bees, and I was very disappointed to find that when you bet, they're very, very slick. So if I just stack these here, let's grab another one. So if I try and push that over, that's what happens. If I push this over, that's what happens. It's just a lot, kind of, let me get three of these. As you can see when I go like this, it kind of, it's very slippery. But whereas the Vegas ones aren't slippery at all. They're a very nice feel. So I'm going to show you how to sort out this problem. Um, now it involves you buying some sandpaper. Um, as you can see, I've already been doing different colours. Um, this is what happens when you do the red one. Uh, this is what happens when you do the white one. Uh, this is what happens when you do the blue one. And this is what happens when you do the green one. I've also done the um, the yellow one as well. You can't really see much difference. So the black ones haven't been done yet, and I'm going to quickly show you how to do that. So what you're going to need is a bit of sandpaper. Um, the sandpaper I've used is from a store called uh, B and Q. Um, the it's a fine 180G. And what you want to do is you want to sellotape it to the table because it moves around quite a lot. You don't have to worry about being neat and tidy just so that it kind of stays in place. There you go. I'm going to move this around so you can see a little better. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to do two at a time. The reason you want to do two at a time is because I have a set of 500 and it's going to take a while to do. Um, I mean, I've already spent maybe four hours on this already. Uh, it's a bit of an anoraki thing to do, but the, the difference in the chip is going to be amazing, so it's well worth it. What you want to do is you want to sandpaper these. So let me show you. It's going to be difficult to start with because it's a fresh piece of sandpaper. Once you're happy that it's sandpapered enough for you, because you might want to do some tests, um, once, you're, once you're happy it's sandpapered, it's sandpapered enough for you, move on to the next side. There you go. That's now finished. Now what you want to do with these is you want to get a bowl of water, preferably warm, put them straight into the bowl of water, and then get a brush, not too abrasive, probably an acrylic brush, and then brush off the excess plastic or the clay composite, dry it, and then you'll end up with something like this. So these have already been done. And let me just quickly show you the difference between betting here. So I've got five chips here so I'll make a bet as you can see they're just kind of sticking together almost in order to separate them you've really got to put a bit of effort in I'm really looking forward to playing these on the felt so I'm guessing that they're a lot easier to play with it's really good because you can make some really big stacks so let me quickly show you how easy it is to build a nice big stack 
so you can make it you can move these around without them moving around everywhere but if I was to get the the next gen lucky bees and try and move them around in a big stack that's exactly what happens they're just too kind of slippery so there you have it thanks for your time I hope it's helpful um, don't don't forget you can email me on the website www.part-committed.co.uk if you've got any questions.